What's up everybody? Today we have another detailing video because I know that's what you like. We got the homie Drew from Drew's Detailing. Hey, what areas do you service? We are in Southern California. We service Menifee, Marietta, Temecula, really anywhere with, there's to make money. Now, how old are you, man? I'm 19 right now. I started detailing at 16 years old. So over time, we've just built the business and now this is what I do full time. That's right. So all you high schooler youngsters that are still in school, we're gonna hear how Drew started his detailing business, juggling school, homework, <laughs> and you're gonna see his process. Um, yes, what are you doing to this car? We are doing a ceramic maintenance wash on this Liberty Walk GTR. It's gonna come out fresh. So if you like the car content, you wanna hear his story, stick around. But Drew, you ready to get started? Yes sir, let's do it. Let's do it. All right, Drew. Hey, so you started at 16, right? Started at 16. Yes, Where sir. did the detailing idea come from? Watching YouTube videos. One time I was looking, I was watching these satisfying YouTube videos. I thought, I'm gonna check out how much this guy charges. So he's making hundreds of dollars, man. I was like, I wanna do that. I like cars, I'm gonna try it out. So that's how it all started. And what was your first investment? Do you remember? My first investment, uh, a pressure washer. I was, I was dragging around a broken pressure washer. I only had one wheel on it, took my jobs. And I was like, okay, it's time to get a, a real good pressure washer. So that was my first investment. Did people come to you or did you go to them right away? Initially, I was getting dropped off at my job, so I was going to my customers mobily. I didn't have water or power, so I was using customers' water and power, but I was still going to them. You were telling me your process, but can you tell us what you're gonna do step by step? All right, step by step, we clean the wheels first. The wheels always come first. Then we're gonna foam the car down as a pre-rinse, rinse the first foam cannon, another foam cannon bath, hand wash, rinse, and then dry. All right, Drew, so when you first started in high school, what were your prices, man? My prices, man, I think I started out like $50. <laughs> $50? $50 for a basic wash, and I think for a full detail, I was charging 120 bucks. And, and that's I was, still pretty good, man. It was okay, I was still spending a lot of hours on my cars, and I was really just trying to get those reps in. What was one of the hardest things starting out so young? Uh, having people trust me. I used my age as people to bring me in, but it also just like discouraged some people. So I was going in the local community group saying, hey, I'm a 16 year old starting detailing. Some people wanted a 16 year old working on the car, some people didn't. Who did you notice did want your service? Like Honda Civics or like GTRs? <laughs> At first I was starting out with, you know, the daily drivers, the dirty cars, but eventually we got out of that, working on nicer cars now. Is, is that what you really like? Working oh, yeah. Nice oh yeah, the nicer cars are fun and they're the better customers, so. Yes, absolutely. I would like to know about your setup, Nets. When did you start upgrading and when? Immediately. I started out of a car and then, and then I was towing a little trailer with the car. Then I got a truck. Now I have a truck and trailer. My trailer is built by H2O in West Covina. Got it. Now, is it the final step or eventually do you want to get something different? Eventually we're going to get into a transit and then we're going to go crazy from there. We'll do a crazy transit build. That's my goal. All right, Drew. So, where are you in your business right now? Part-time, full-time, on the side? Full-time. Uh, during high school, I was part-time, working on the weekends, after school. Uh, but ever since I graduated, I've been full-time detailing. What is your secret or advice to getting those customers? You gotta work hard and give your best work. Just let people see you hustling and giving the best results, and they will keep calling you back, and they'll let more people know. So that's my secret. Let me ask you this. The way you dress, the way you talk, mm -hmm. the way you present yourself, you think that matters a lot or a little bit? I think it does. Maybe not so much the way you dress. I think it still does give a good impression though, but definitely with your expertise, the words that you use, uh, I think that is very huge in the business. Like for example, I heard you pitch your client, PPF? Yes. Is that something that you're trying out that you've been doing? PPF is something that I'm stepping into. Now detailing is cool and all, but eventually I'd like to get into wraps, PPF, and tint. So that's slowly what I'm working into. And I slowly want to step away from the detailing and have like an employee run my detail van. And if you guys want to follow me along with my journey, my Instagram handle is Drew's Detailing. Two S's in Drew's, so Drew's SS Detailing. It's in the description. Hey guys, how y'all doing? Hey, so I just want to let you guys know my Drew and why I continue to have him detail my cars. One, Great person, very positive attitude, and he's young, and he's just, he's just motivating. And on top of that, 
as you can see, I got, I mean, I like, I like keeping my cars clean and he does a very good job of doing that. So, um, Drew, thank you. Thank you, Garwin. Right, and he'll continue to detail my cars. He's been doing it for the past year. And I'm that guy that if, if you continue to do great service for me, I'm gonna hold on to you and I'm gonna pass the word. So I think he can, he can go ahead and say that I've given him Absolutely. quite a few other people that yep. uh, he also details now, which is good. How'd you find them? Um, it was through a friend. So he detailed one of my buddy's cars and then he had told me about him and that's all, that's all it took. Have you ever tried their detailer before? I have. And why didn't you go back to them? Because they they can't touch what he does. All right, he's got great service, great personality. He always makes it to where he can get my cars washed right before a car show. And I really can't say anymore. So having said that, I got to stay loyal to him, right? So uh, he'll probably be detailing my carts for the next several years. All right, Drew, let's say there's a high schooler out there, 15, 16, wants to start detailing business. What's one piece of advice you have for them? I think you gotta tap in with your local market. So anyone you know, mom, dad, grandpa, friends, family, everyone, spread the word and they'll let other people know and that's how the business starts. It blows up just like that. All right, Drew. So I don't know if you noticed, there's a lot of YouTubers coming out, detailers, mm -hmm. experts, hyping chemicals up a lot. Mm -hmm. And the youngsters, no offense, they're easily influenced. Absolutely. How do you feel about that? Do you think the youngsters should follow those expert detailers on YouTube mm -hmm. or should they go to their local detail shop or uh, find a mentor locally? What would you say? Uh, I would say you stick tried and true to what you know. Experience with what you have done before and if you don't like something new, then I'd just find something else. Um, yeah, there's a lot of new technologies coming out, but basically everything does almost the same thing. Um, so just don't get discouraged. You don't need a million different products. Find one tool that you can use in multiple different areas. You don't need to have a million different chemicals. A brand that's coming out that's really hyped up. Mm -hmm. Gian, Coach mm -hmm. Kemi. Uh huh. How do you feel about it, bro? They're good. Or? I love Gian, actually. Uh, I use some Coach Kemi, but I do love Gian. Gian is pretty good um, product line. I would stand by them, and I'd stay away from chemical guys. <laughs> <laughs> so, Drew, I know you talked about what you want to do in the future, PPF, this and that. What are you currently promoting for your services? So right now we're doing ceramics and then basically everything detailing. Place a bigger emphasis on the paint correction ceramic coating jobs. We still stick to the daily details. Full details, we do maintenance washes, uh, exterior detail packages, interior, we do it all still. Winter's right around the corner. Winter's around the corner. Does it slow down? It does slow down a little bit, but the right businesses will always thrive. So we still stick true to it and we push through the, push through the winter because we know we'll have a good summer. So now for someone wanting to start their own detailing business, when do you think they should start it? Summer start when it's it right super now. busy? Right now. You start whenever. As there's, soon as possible. There's never going to be a right time. So do it whenever. I started in the winter and I, I stick, stick true to it, but summer will be the peak season. Uh, but I say start whenever. You'll never be 100% ready. In the detailing game, you get so many different customers. Mm -hmm. Any customers ever tried to punk you? Like, hey, give me a lower price. <laughs> and how did you handle it? I have had some customers ask me, are you capable of doing the job? Of course I am, man. I, and then I give them the best service they've ever seen. So then they respect me more. Um, <laughs> but yeah, I have had some people like discouraged on my age and stuff, but still get the job done. You yeah. show them with the results. Exactly. Put them in their place. <laughs> <laughs> and what do you think is the best way a youngster could learn detailing. YouTube. YouTube University? Absolutely, that's how I started, man. YouTube University, man. Learn anything on here. And <laughs> did you practice in your own car, your mom's car, friends and families first? Friends and family, uh, mamas. And then um, I was charging really low for details. So I was also learning through my customers and I just learned experience and got to where I'm at today. All right, guys, there you have it. You heard his story. So all you youngsters out there that want to start a business, okay. any business, Start today. Start today. You're not gonna be perfect, but... Progress over perfection. There you go. There it is. Now, Drew, somebody wants to give you a follow. Where can they go? And okay. what areas do you cover? We are in sunny SoCal, Southern California. You can find my Instagram. It's Drew's Detailing with two S's. Drew's SS Detailing. His Instagram is gonna be in the description below. Go follow his journey. And if you like this detailing content, you wanna see more, Press the like button. Don't forget to subscribe. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye, everybody. Thank you.